What is going on, everybody? It is jscry99 here, back with another high round guide. This is for Ancient Evil Co-op. Uh, this strat does work for solo, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, this is more so for 2, 3, and 4 player. Uh, obviously, the more people, the easier this strat is. Here is your loadouts. Um, PhD is 100% required. Uh, Blood Wolf Bite for the modifier is only required for the person running the Hand of Karen. All other perks, elixirs, special weapon, starting weapon, equipment... Use what you're most comfortable with. This is a very lenient map to do, use whatever. It's, you can kind of use whatever you want. This is a very easy map to high round on. Um, I do advise uh, probably probably running the Viper and Dragon um, as uh, they do obviously kill a lot of zombies, like all of them. But also the egg of that uh, egg that uh, monkey bomb effect where the zombies are distracted is helpful if you got to go get ammo, get perks, got to run, do something. Um, and also they do have a less likely chance of crashing your game. So that is also incredibly nice if you plan on going to super high rounds. But if you're not, if you're just planning just to go to like round 100 or, you know, like just uh, like anything under like 300, a uh, hammer would be fine, honestly. It's a little slower. It's not the most ideal, but you can use it. I mean, you can use the Scepter 2 if you want. You could use the Chakrams too. I, it really doesn't matter. But those two, the Hammer and the Viper are the best against bosses as well. They do kill them rather fast. I think the Hammer's the fastest for bosses. But there's not many bosses on Ancient Evil. You have the Giganese and the Blight. But you can kill those incredibly fast with the Hellion. Don't even, you don't even got to worry about them. I mean, you don't really got to worry about them on any map because the Hellion's overpowered. But, yeah, whatever. Um, so for early rounds, you could just get set up. I mean, pretty self-explanatory. Get your, your perks, shield, Pegasus Strike, etc. Um, rack up points. Just do what you got to do to get set up. Um, so you want to get the Hand of Karen. The person with Blood Wolf Bite has to have the Hand of Karen. Um, obviously, if you don't know how to upgrade the Hand of Karen, this is how we want to do is you place it down through your little, uh, broken hand or whatever, and you complete this little lockdown. This lockdown will give you the Fallen Hand of Karen. Um, you just got to survive here for, I don't know how long, like maybe like a minute, something, something like that. I don't really know. Just a certain amount of time. All you got to do is not die. You don't have to kill a certain amount of zombies. You just don't have to die. Uh, once you complete it, you grab the hand. Um, and then uh, I go over. I build a Pegasus Strike because, you know, we're just passing time. Um, but next thing you want to do is you want to stand in the River of Sorrow right in front of that Odin perk. And you're going to get kills with your hand. And the zombies have to be standing in the water and they'll be sucked in. And you'll notice with every kill, the water will get slightly more red. And uh, once it gets, like, very red, your whole screen will be, like, glowing red, like this. And you'll get a prompt to say, hold X to drink from the River of Sorrow. When you drink from the River of Sorrow, you have to go find coins. Now, at this point, if you take damage, you will not regain health. Now, that coin was an extinguish. This one right here will be an obtain. It'll, tell, it'll say extinguish or obtain. You need three of them that say obtain. Once you collect all three... You head to the shrine, place them, and then you go to the, uh, like the challenge area or whatever. Uh, it's gonna say, uh, oh, hold RT to uh, charge shot. You can just spam your single shot, not a big deal. You just gotta survive for like a minute. It's super easy. Uh, once you're done, you'll have the redeemed hand, and that is essentially that. You're gonna hit the box for the one and only gun that carries everybody through every high round ever on Black Ops 4, and that is the Hellion Salvo Shocker. Um, and once you have, once everyone has their redeemed hand as well as a Hellion Salvo, um, you want to camp the Offering of Adelids. Now you want to camp at the top of this staircase. Do not open this door for obvious reasons and just camp there and that's it. Uh, once all four players are there, they can just camp around. The Hand of Karen guy will spam their hand at the bottom and this will kill everything. Nothing will get past this. Nothing. Like, when a boss comes, Giganese or a Blight, just spam just spam your hell until they'll die in seconds now my blood wolf wolf luna she spawns and starts killing zombies if you notice she killed one a little bit ago and it dropped that little point drop now if you watch to the top right of the screen it drops a little max ammo that max ammo will give you one full clip so for a rocket launcher that is four rockets for the for any hand however there's no there's no clip and you know stock there it's just all one ammo pile because of that, it actually gives you one full clip, which is considered one full stock, which gives you full ammo. So no matter how much ammo you have in your hand, it will give you full ammo, no matter what hand you have. I miss it. I actually didn't end up grabbing that because I'm incompetent, and uh, 
I'm bad. So we're just going to disregard that. But yeah, so those are very, very helpful. So when you're going to the higher rounds, that wolf does have a chance of dropping max ammo for you. Now those are only for the user who has blood wolf bite. Nobody else can pick those up. So if I have full ammo and my wolf drops max ammo, I can't have someone else go grab it for him. That will not work. It's only for yourself. That is the only kind of downfall of it. But, I mean, it is what it is. Can't do much about it. Um, for perks, I'm going to talk about it right now. PhD, like I said, necessary. Blood Wolf, necessary for the Karen. Um, you guys can run the Secret Sauce, Bandolier, Strat. You can do that. Up to you. You don't really need to. It's it's uh, for two, three, four players to go into super high rounds. Um, your hands will get you through ninety percent of the stuff. Plus, with your like Pegasus strikes and Amoncula special weapons, you'll get through almost everything. Um, you won't need max ammo too much. Not to mention, you can also get it from you can get max ammo from challenges. Um, other perks, um, Stone Cold, I highly recommend mainly because it just gives you those two extra hits, um, so you don't die as fast. And then Dying Wish. Uh, because obviously it just gives you a second chance of life. Uh, but those two perks, however, are necessary. Uh, two other perks that I um, think are very good for this spot. Winter's Whale, the very good one. That can be mod modifier or not, up to you. Um, when Winter's Whale goes off, and say we're all cornered on the staircase, when it goes off, it'll actually freeze everything on the staircase. And when that happens... Everybody has a chance to pop anywhere but here, to uh, pull out a shield, to do whatever they need to do to escape. It's a really good idea to run it. I, w I wouldn't say it's rec I wouldn't say it's like um, required. It's not like you have to have it or somebody has to have it. My other three teammates are running it, so they do have it. It's by no means bad to have. It's a pretty good one. You don't have to have it as a modifier like they do. Um, another perk would be Victorious Tortoise. Now, this one is... Oh, it isn't as nice as uh, Winter's Whale because uh, if only one player runs Victorious Tortoise, let's say the shield explodes, it's, um, it's a 50-50 shot whether or not it kills all the zombies or just simply knocks them down. Um, but it also doesn't freeze them. But if it does kill all of them, you can't escape. However, um, if it kills them all, they rush pretty fast. So you might get, by the time they all die and you are able to start moving, you might already get cornered again. So you got to be quick if you do use it. Um, but with Hellions and with everything you guys have, you really shouldn't get cornered. And if you notice you're starting to get overrun and like you're running low on ammo, get out. Do not screw yourself. Don't think a max ammo is magically going to appear. Don't, don't screw yourself. Get out. Or if you 100% need to, you can open the door behind you. That is an escape route. But once you do, you have to train. After that, you, four of you split up and start training. Um, so I don't recommend opening the door because camping is significantly faster than training. Um, however, if, if it comes down to it and you have to open the door, it's not a big deal. You can train all the best solo records on this map are training. So it's not the biggest deal. Um, this isn't the fastest spot either. I will say, but to me, I feel as it's, it's the safest and I, I kind of prefer a little bit of safety over, uh, uh, speed and when with co-op high rounds because like i like i trust myself that i'm confident enough to not mess up but i don't like but i'm not a big trusting of other people and regardless of who i'm playing with i just like to play it safe you know because you know in black ops 4 you can pause the game it's you know it's not the biggest deal if we're going a little slower than usual and it's not significantly slower it's not like hours and hours slower but so it's a pretty good spot though overall i would say it's top three spots there is maybe one other spot but yeah, it is what it is. Um, so what we do to get max ammo here towards the end of the round, um, we do rewards. Now, I get my epic, run up, and uh, with epics, you can actually also get bonus perks. And if you're lucky, you can get Winner's Whale, Victorious Tortoise, Bandolier, stuff like that. Unfortunately, you know, with my luck, I get Deadshot Dealer, which is incredibly useless. And if you watch what I mouth in the top right corner, you can visibly tell I'm upset. I don't get a max ammo for everybody, but my teammate does, however, and that is how you get max ammo. But that is it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.